is going on there, citizens of the Reject Nation? Greg here today. Thank you for clicking on this video. So we are going to talk about some DC news that's being heavily reported to be coming out of Comic-Con. Tomorrow, I'm going to be having a Marvel video going up on the channel. I asked on our community page and Twitter, what are you most hoping comes out of Comic-Con? So uh, I'm going to be reacting to and riffing off of those responses. But right now, I want to talk about this, which kind of threw me for a loop because earlier this week, you might have heard there was this Rolling Stones article that came out about the WB claims involving a bot-infested Snyder Cut movement that was basically saying 13% of hashtag released the Snyder Cut movement accounts were Bots takeaway that seemed pretty obvious that they wanted the readers to have was WB. They got duped. They got duped by a bunch of, you know, this vocal minority that was just so passionate that created all these bots and then they wasted all this money. Now, I'm probably going to circle back to that in a minute, but this, the video is not mainly about that. But the reason I'm bringing it up is because of what's being reported on right now is something that I very much do associate with you know, the Snyderverse. When I woke up, I saw this all over my Twitter feed. It's been up for a few hours now. Henry Cavill's Superman return is rumored for an official announcement by Henry Cavill at Hall H this weekend. And honestly, I'll tell you guys, when I first read that, the way it was presented, my heart stopped for a couple of beats. <laughs> I know that sounds like silly and dramatic. I just was like, wow, wait. Is this actually happening? Because I'll level with you. Unlike Superman, I actually lost hope that this would ever happen. So diving into it more, websites have mainly been pulling from this Deadline article, and Deadline is obviously one of the more reliable entertainment news outlets. The article goes on to say, Dwayne Johnson and the Warner Brothers theatrical session will serve as Marvel's opening act earlier in the day with Black Adam and Shazam Fury of the Gods getting their much-deserved close-ups on the Hall H stage. There's also a buzz that Henry Cavill put in a surprise appearance to talk up more Superman. There's just been so many conflicting reports about Henry Cavill's Superman future for years now. Many have stated he's gone. Others have stated he's in negotiations for like a, a future cameos. Reportedly, the new people in charge of Warner Media are like, no, we need to revitalize Superman. Regardless, even if you take Henry Cavill out of the equation, it's, it's very obvious that they just haven't had a clear, confident direction of what to do with Superman. The last two appearances, if I'm not mistaken, other than, you know, Zack Snyder's Justice League, which is meant to predate these, is Shazam and Peacemaker, with which both featured faceless, voiceless cameos by the man of steel it's just kind of crazy to know that even with his time as superman he did have a you know a complete character arc from man of steel to Zack snyder's justice league he's only had one solo outing as superman now one thing that's really kind of kept hope alive is online teases that dwayne johnson and henry cavill have given about them mashing up together because dwayne johnson he's been very outspoken about wanting black adam to fight superman i mean it's dwayne the rock johnson he obviously holds a lot of power and influence and is also very much about staying connected to what the fans want. Although I'm sure if he fought Superman, he'd probably make sure that Superman lost or that it'd be a draw or some bullshit like that. <laughs> so if this report is true, I'm totally cool with there being more cameo appearances as a way to, you know, get him back into the freaking DC films. God damn, I really think he deserves another solo movie. Fans have wanted another Man of Steel follow-up for so long. And like I said earlier, I really appreciated his arc through the three films that he was in. Even though Zack Snyder had a plan for two more Justice League films, I still feel like the way that film ended whether you go off of the joss whedon version or the Zack snyder's justice league version you can still do another solo outing another official sequel to man of steel and my god i hope that if they were to do that that it would be following after the events of Zack snyder's justice league and not the joss whedon one because despite whichever one they would want to make it a sequel out of you can still just make it your own and just factor in the events of the prior installments they could do it in a way where it's like oh it could be followed after either one of those depending on how you interpret it now for me the real question is if there was to be another solo outing would Zack Snyder return to direct it that just seems very unlikely because of the major contention that's very public between Zack Snyder and WB it's not impossible it's not impossible but that is one that make me go wow holy shit they squashed some real beefs there but I'll be honest you know I could see another director doing it but whomever they would get for it I, I think they would have to be able to match or level up from the Man of Steel action. Out of the Zack Snyder trilogy, the Man of Steel action is still the best Superman action has ever been. And I'll be damned if we get another solo movie and the action is nowhere near on that level. They don't have to like destroy cities and shit, but you know, like the choreography and like the, the fighting style, it's, it was just so grand. Although I am curious from Snyder fans, would you be cool with Henry 
returning for a solo movie without Zack Snyder. Because a big part of what I feel like ignited the Snyder Cut movement was more than just, I want to see a better film, was being aware of the treatment and handling of Zack Snyder while dealing with a personal tragedy. So getting a bad film compounded with that usually ignites a passion, like nothing ignites a passion more than feeling like something's been wronged and we gotta fight for justice. All puns intended. Because a lot of that Rolling Stone article, like, I get it. There's obviously a lot of passionate fans out there who can be very difficult to deal with, who can be very hostile and insulting to others. Every fandom has this level of aggressiveness and bullying. And there's many who believe that the Snyder Cut fan base had the worst of them. I understand. But when we're talking about this bot situation, you know, I'm going back to like the, if we look back at the launch of HBO Max, one of the main things to truly entice people to sign up very early on was green lighting Zack Snyder's Justice League. You know, while 13% of the accounts are fake, 87% is very real. You're still telling me 87% is very real. And that 80%, that's a lot of people. I don't know the exact number, but it's, it's got to be a lot and regardless it's also saying the movement is mainly real people this whole narrative about we got duped and bullied into releasing this by a small amount of loud angry fans to me it just didn't register as the data doesn't support this that 87 percent of people can be a lot of people like think of it like this I mean, this might be a terrible example, but let me, let me try to think of it. <laughs> if I go on Rotten Tomatoes and I see a movie has a 70% score, and then I see another movie that has a 90% score, it's easy to look at that and go, one movie is definitely better. If I see that 70% score movie has like 350 reviews, and the 90% score movie has like 20 reviews, it kind of changes up the variables, you know? Like how many people make up that 87%? I, I definitely could use a better analogy than the Rotten Tomatoes one. We just talked about for so many years, and as one of the channels I was also covering it, I don't know. It seems very real to me. And the last time we saw Henry Cavill's Superman was in that film. And his Superman is very much associated with the Snyderverse. So to me, it'd just be kind of crazy in the week of WB again trying to take down Snyder Cut that this announcement would happen, even without Zack Snyder steering the future of Superman. Now, I know that Marvel has a reputation for being, you know, other than their leaks, for being very successful at keeping their announcements for Comic-Con very secretive. I don't know if Warner Brothers is as good about it. And, you know, I, I definitely do believe that Henry Cavill can't continue on without Zack Snyder directing it. Regardless, that's just my two cents on this. Uh, I'm hoping that this really does get announced. That would be very exciting. And I'll just quickly say, despite it being several years since Henry Cavill played the Man of Steel, obviously he can still pull off Superman. It's, it's He can still pull it off. Yeah, leave me your thoughts down below. Thank you guys for being here. You can subscribe, click that bell, keep a lookout for whatever we come, cover out at Comic-Con. Catch you guys soon.